Hello friends, welcome back to the Canada Info Hub channel. My name is Wolo. Although I came to do my shopping, I just felt like um, I should talk about some provincial updates that has been happening um, for the past, um, I think since last week, there were some updates concerning um, immigration. I just finished shopping at Superstore. You can see the Superstore there. I don't know if you can see Superstore. I just finished shopping at Superstore. This is a real Canadian Superstore. So anybody who wants to buy anything here, there are some items that they call the no-name um, branded items. They are quite cheaper. And anyway, I'm actually talking about some of the um, immigration updates um, from different provinces like British Columbia and Quebec. So Quebec has announced that they will be paying some people to study nursing and they've also um, um in, they'll be introducing two pilots that's the tech pilots and the nurse aid pilots to actually give provincial nomination to people who have it backgrounds and backgrounds in nursing and then british columbia also um they actually launched a website for agricultural workers they want to employ six thousand to eight thousand people to work in the agricultural sector in um, in british columbia so i'll be showing you the website so that if you're interested you can apply although it is specific for people who are already living in british columbia but you know that with canada some people who do not really like to work um not everybody will actually take advantage of this opportunity of applying for jobs in British Columbia. So if you're interested in the farming industry or in the agricultural industry, you can go ahead and even submit your application. You will see the employers there. There are some applications, um, some adverts where they even stated that they can sponsor relocation and uh, sponsor your accommodation and sponsor a lot of things. So. Do not limit yourself although it is specific to um, residents of british columbia if you are outside canada and you're interested in, in working in the agricultural industry you can go ahead and apply for these jobs in british columbia so i'll be leaving the link of the website where you can apply for jobs and also show you the details of um, the announcement made by the premier of not the premier i think the commissioner or whatever for i don't know whether they call them commissioner the commissioner for agriculture i will show you the link and also um, leave the link to the announcement that was made concerning um the tech pilots and the nurse aid pilot for quebec but for quebec if you're not bilingual do not bother putting in your application for arima you have to be bilingual they will consider more bilingual applicants compared to unilingual applicants so this is the information I want to share. I'm actually going somewhere else. See you in my next video. Bye-bye. The -bye. few months have been very difficult for everyone, including the approximately 63,000 people who are involved in putting food on our tables. Farmers, ranchers, fishers, harvesters, and processors. COVID-19 has meant there is no such thing as business as usual. It has disrupted the workforce to a point that we're expecting a shortfall of approximately 6,000 to 8,000 seasonal agricultural laborers across BC this year. COVID-19 has brought into focus for many of us our province's food security. It has shone a bright light on the need for our province to become more self-sufficient, more sustainable and resilient. We continue to work hard with this in mind by encouraging farming through Grow BC, by moving more grown and processed foods into places like our hospitals through Feed BC, and creating the demand for local products by showing consumers like you what we produce and making it easy for you to identify those products with Buy BC. We are focused on BC's food supply, but we, need, we know that we need more people involved to help us. So today is a very exciting day that builds on our efforts to create a more resilient food supply. We're here to launch an online resource that will function as a one-stop job shop. This website is called the BC Farm Fish and Food Job Connector. Uh, good evening, Minister. 
Can you explain what the barriers are in accessing temporary foreign workers? And, you know, related to that, who do you expect will be applying for these jobs on these new websites? Thank you. That's a great question. So uh, this year we had received uh, about 1,500 workers uh, into our province from other countries, mostly Mexico, before uh, COVID-19 happened and things came to a stop. Uh, and so um, we had to grapple with how do we allow these workers to come in to BC, making sure they're healthy, making sure the farms are safe where they're arriving. Uh, and so the barriers in place were just around the protocols for COVID-19. Um, we've had an agreement with the Mexican government for about 15 years where we receive about 6,000 Mexican workers every season. Uh, we also receive workers from Jamaica and other countries. Um, but uh, given that there's been these difficulties this year, it really uh, called for us to look at how do we incent domestic workers. And so um, this website is about attracting domestic British Columbian workers here.